What's that, Pace? It's a, uh, it's a barbecue. Cool. It's all right, mate. Doesn't hurt you. What have we got there? Some legs. And we got uh, an old plate that needs a clean. Oh, we got the bloody whole shebang, eh? That. Cool. I didn't see that hiding in there. Look at that. Just like I bought one. Heaps. Smack that in first. You can never go too thin with your sticks when you're making a fire. The biggest problem that everybody faces is getting dry wood and thin sticks. And then on top of that, a few bigger ones, but not too much because we want air to get in there. Good. The old mistletoe I'm burning, this bigger wood here. It's good because it's got lots of thin bits that come off it, so it ignites really quick. It's been dead in the tree for a while. I bred these little ducks from three that were gifted to me from a bloke down south. Crazy as ducks and turkeys. And they gave me three and I bred them. And I butchered one the other day and plucked it, and that's what I'm going to cook right now, or some of it at least. So old mate's been hanging in the cooler for about two or three days and he's good to take some meat off. I'm going to take some breast meat off and put the rest back in the freezer. Absolutely beautiful duck, look at that. Just delicious. Take that whole breast right off. There's one beautiful piece of duck breast, look at that. That's enough for me. Wow. I'm going to freeze the rest and use it for another day. Check this out, garlic straight on top, just half close for aroma and taste. Oh, it smells good. The duck ever looks so good. Look at that. Oh lord. Mushrooms cooking in the duck vat. That's our mushroom and garlic. I'm gonna put some broccoli in there. Oh, I love this little barbecue, thanks Jeff. First time I've used it. Using it again, I think. Well, I can't think of a better way to break my fast than with duck. Duck is one of my most favourite meats. I said we can do it all together, probably not. Oops, there goes my mushroom. There's a duck in the mouth. There's a mushroom. There's a garlic. Mmm. That worked so good. Broccoli just blanched ever so lightly in the fat and water of the duck. I don't know if you can see, but the skin is quite crunchy on the duck. There we've got some mushroom and duck together there. It's crunchy skin on the outside. Mm. I hung that duck for three days and that dried Took all the moisture out of it, which helps it crackle up more. Mm. Next level. I'm very grateful for this food. I can't stop going for all the little crunchy bits with the fat on. They're like little bits of crackling, like that bit there. It's got that really nice fat, that layer of fat, which is what makes it taste good. The mushrooms and the garlic are perfect with the salt. Pekin duck. Hey guys, that's my barbecue Pekin duck. Hope you enjoyed it. Good luck for your own outdoor cooking. And be good, can't be good, be careful. I'm gonna carry on chomping and chewing. See you later. You're all right, eat that. There you go. Don't try and spoil you, eh?
You like it, did you, hey? You've got your wag in your tail, haven't it, eh? Good boy. You've got your wag in your tail. Good boy.